So the markets in general look pretty weak, um, but I would like to stay with my bullish count. But to be fair, I also need to look at the bearish count. We don't want to stick our heads in the sand. At the end of the day, the idea of um, being in the markets is uh, not only to enjoy ourselves, but to make money. So uh, we need to be, we need to have our traders hat on and not get lost in uh, in uh, our analysis uh, as such. So. Um, we will be looking at the bearish side and uh, also the bullish side. But my bias is to the bullish side, even though the some of the weaker indices like the Dow and the Russell uh, can move lower, and the banking sector is quite weak as well. Um, but our bigger stocks like Tesla, Apple and Google, uh, the bigger tech stocks rather, they are, of course, so... Um, they're still in a bullish uh, mode. Now, I know with Tesla, it also needs to come down uh, lower as well. So I think we can just have a bit of a look at some of these. So see, with Tesla, one of the reasons that I'm bullish is like Apple and Tesla, they have a very clean five wave structure to the upside here. So we've been working in ABC across the, uh, the, the 200 here but it has been rejected and it is dropping down. So we need to look at it as an A and a B and a C wave to come down here a little bit further. So going from 20K ticks to uh, 5K ticks should do the trick uh, nicely. We don't need all that other data in there as such. Um, my volume's jumped to the upside of the chart there. So, but anyway, just to give you a bit of a picture here, so in this case, we've got an A wave, a B wave, one and two, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth and fifth. So this needs to come down a little bit further. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, we'll be looking at Apple and Google uh, as well shortly uh, once we have a look at the NASDAQ. <coughs> and um, yeah, so this is the bullish count. And uh, a couple of things here is that this move to the upside here uh, counts quite nicely as five waves rather than a corrective wave. Now, I can get a corrective wave out of it, um, but it's forcing it uh, as such. The, uh, the move down through here can be, can be counted as an A, B, C and B completed there, but that's not what I'm getting from, as you've just seen with Tesla and uh, we'll have a look at Google and uh, Apple. It does appear that we've got uh, a little move up here to go um, and then another little move down and then that should suffice at that point and we can cruise along at that point and we'll have a closer look at that um, that particular uh, pattern. Now, uh, it's kind of simple in a way because we can see that, you know, from from this looking at this chart here and not going too far back, or but looking at these highs and lows here, then we can see that in a way that the market has been bobbing along the 4,000 here. Now, it was coming in a downtrend to the downside and it came down and bounced and came through and now it's coming back up. And in a way, it's um, uh, couldn't hold it onto here, so it's made a new high here. And it's kind of stabilizing more and more at that 4,000 when you consider it, you know. So I think that, you know, besides whatever analysis that we use, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is somewhere along the line, that 4,000 is either going to become the support or the resistance. Now, we have we have methods <laughs> to try to understand support and resistance a little bit better. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll be using those to have a look at that there. But um, it's still vibrating there, but the vibration is diminishing. And uh, shortly we'll be able to see ourselves sitting on this as support. So I don't think we need to make any like big decisions at this particular point in time. Um, so we're going to have a look at this um, on the intraday <coughs> in a moment, but um, it's also good to have a look at the bearish side as well. So the bearish side of the market, we would want the 4,000 as being, um, you know, um, uh, rejected, basically, and it, it's not being rejected. The, all of this pattern here is acceptance at the moment, so um, we're running with that. Um, the bearish side is looking at this as the A, the B, and the C here, and then down for one here, and then trying to figure out what a wave two is and, and a wave three to come down. So let's, we, we keep that on the 50K chart, so we'll look at that here. So 
Um, so we've got as the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave up here. Now this wave one here could also be a smaller wave one. It could even be a smaller wave one again as well. It doesn't really matter. The fact is, is that we can look at it as one, two over here, and three, four, five here. Now it's pretty difficult to call that a wave two up here. We can do that, and, and we should do that because this um, as one of the count because it pulled back up above the 50%. So. Sometimes the market pulls up to the 50% and then kicks back up to the 61.8% and then comes down at that point. So there's that to contend with as well. So there's a few things here, but I can see here that this hasn't been uh, rejected. So we will need something like that at the 4,000, some, some you know, real nice sort of rejection there. But in most cases, we'll end up seeing it going back above the level and, and then moving down at that point. But it hasn't, you know, taking this low out here would be a rejection at that point in time and uh, this one here. So I would want to see, for me to turn bearish, I would want, whatever happens up here, it could just go just up here a little bit and then come down. But even if it came down, don't feel like we're missing anything because at this low here, the 3900 thereabouts, whatever, we're going to see and we're going to see the retest kick back at that point. And if it is in three waves, well, then we can look to go short at that point, you know. But we need it, we need it to flip around, we need it rejected, you know, and it's not there just yet. Now we'll look at this, our bearish counts on the 50,000 and the 1000, and uh, we'll go in. But when we look at the 1000, I've got this move down here as this wave, this wave one, and that will be that wave two there as well. Not that it's a big deal, I should do something about that, but um, we'll get there in the end. So let's just have a look at this. Um, let's get in some more data here. Five will be enough. So we've got wave C at the top there. And like I said, I could use any counting to bring this down here, but let's just uh, just stay with me at the moment. We'll look at this as wave one. So we can squeeze in. This is better looking on the cash market here as at 39.50 as a um, as a five wave structure to here on the cash market. And then one and two, three, four, five up here. So if that's the case, the shortest route to dropping here would be this here, looking at this as one, two here, one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave, right to this point, and then looking at all of this as an A and a B and a C wave here. So there'll, there'll just be um, one more push to the upside. So this is the shortest way possible at this point. So if that occurred, then you can look to short uh, under here for that or even under that second low there. But we're not going to do that. We're, we're just going because there's another little situation that can occur. So this is one thing that it, it can occur. It could also come back up to the 50, 60% if we put wave one over here, because there's a case for that and putting wave four over to here for that. There's a good case for that as well. There's a few different ways, that the combos you can um, look at this, um, but shorting that low there would be um, one of them. But when, like I said, we're not gonna do that because down at this low here, when this comes down here, we're going to see this get retested again at this point. And it's rejection at that point, then we would be on the short side at that stage. Okay, so there's a, there's a while to go in all of this and it's important not to get emotional about this. The, 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 the trick um, uh, is, you know, uh, is it patience basically because this number here will at some point you will see very clearly that it's been rejected or accepted and if it's been accepted we're going to move up through 10 20 and 30 then 50 and we're going to be moving up you know so uh, and we want to be able to count that in an impulse wave it is yeah so that's that so on the um <clears throat> on the bullish side Coming back to the bullish side for a moment, and let's just go to the 20K here for a moment. <coughs> so when we're looking at the, on the bullish side here, um, I've been looking, I've been, I've had this labeled as green, and I've also had it labeled as, um, <coughs> as blue. I would imagine it would be um, green, actually, in this particular instance. Um, so in this case, we've been looking up at one here and ABC back for wave two and then up for one. So we're trying to figure wave two out here. Now, the simple thing is, is that I could put wave two here 
and we could just go straight up from there. That's possible. Um, but otherwise, we'll need to look at all of this as five waves down with an A wave here, a B wave here, or the A wave over here, and back into this one, and then having one more little move down, and that would be it at that point. Now, I want to talk about this here, <clears throat> but I want to talk about it... Um, on the NASDAQ and I want to talk about it with Apple and Google okay this whole little pattern here so I'm going to move this to the side and we're going to have a look at the NASDAQ here so this with the S&P here this wave one and wave two here right is um, is this wave one here obviously and this wave two here so in this case the nasdaq has held up a little bit better in this case and we're also looking at this as an a and a b and a c it's very difficult to get this as wave one here you know and this is the same with apple as well it's very difficult to get it as wave one uh you can do a few little dances with it all you know and and push things around but you know it doesn't really count that well as um as way one down here you know um so um in this case we've got this nice move up here which uh, you know looks like a nice wave one in this case and that probably better off as a green wave one as well but it doesn't really matter at this point in time we're trying to understand this here as an abc correction here so this particular wave one here and wave two here if we could just bring apple across here for a moment this is the same thing here, the ABC here. I've got it as a bigger wave two in this particular instant because it's a different, because Apple's just come straight up off the low here for that. You know, it's slightly different. The NASDAQ and the S&P have done a bit of a dog leg to get up there. Um, but in this case, this move here on the Feb 2nd, um, in most cases, um, anyway, early Feb, uh, the A, the B, and the C here for wave two, then wave one. We're going through this A, B, C pattern here for wave two. So you can see here that everything is looking very stable and, you know, positive here at this point, you know. And Apple is the eye of um, some of these indices as well. So this would be the wave one here, then wave one, and, and, and we're looking for the... We're, so we're in here looking at the A, B, C correction now for this, right? So... What we can do uh, here now is um, take a closer look at this in here. So I'm just going to go, I think a thousand will be enough at this point. I think that's something. So if we consider the move down on the S&P and the NASDAQ as five waves. Now, it's a little bit shaky, but it, it is a good case for that, right? So in that case, we would be looking at um, a B wave moving up here. Now, obviously, a B wave can move up. 50 60 percent and all the rest of it but i think in this case um see i don't have a nice five wave structure here i could probably get one out but that's just five waves to that point you know so that would give this as an a and a b and a c give it equality in terms of a and c at that particular point in time so let's just see how this progresses here you know um, obviously this consolidation down the bottom here and all of this here the market's sort of a bit reluctant to go down any further at this point you know so that consolidation um, needs to you know I mean it's 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 kind of a little bit of a bullish thing at the moment you know can I put wave two over here I possibly could work that wave count uh, in like that but um, I don't think that's the case and I think we've got one more little leg to come down here after we have a rally here. And the reason I think that for is because if we go back to Apple here and we look at this little move in here, I'm going to go to uh, 100 ticks as well just to pull that apart there. So let me just get your bearings here. So we've got wave one up here. Um, once again, this move down through here is only in three waves. But anyway, we've got wave, we can look at this uh, the same as wave A here, and then some sort of A, B, and C over here. Now, this little consolidation here on the S&P, it actually dropped lower here for, the, for, for that on the S&P. You know, that's why I haven't gone in there just yet, is that that's why we've got the A wave sitting over here for, for the... Um, for, for the S and P, uh, the B wave can be the A, the B, and the C coming up here for that. But we can have a look at that a little bit later. Um, but it's not that important at this point in time. So, um, because you know, there's markets that are strong like Nvidia, uh, and there's markets that are weak like the banks. Um, 
but these big tech stocks are kind of the the main theme and i'm trying to get the consensus you know of the general market and then really redefine or define um, that count and this is what we're doing looking at apple here on 100 ticks so the a wave here the b wave here and then down for the c wave which will be into the 61.8 percent so that's what i'm thinking and um it would be nice if this all shores up by Thursday, but it probably won't, and it will probably be, could even be next week, I don't know. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> if this was the B wave sitting here, that would be nice. And there is a case for that too, by the way. So we could actually, um, you know, there may be there's five waves in that little move there, you know, um, because if we take the same count and we look at Google, so that would be wave one reference point up there and we look at google here for a moment with wave one up here what we can see with google is one two three four five down for the a wave and then the abc for the b wave here um, and then we're looking at some type of one two three four five down here for this I have to sort of get my noggin around this a little bit more at this point, but um, we still need to be down at 92, 91, 50 for, for, um, for Google at this point. But this A, B and C wave here on Google um, is, and the, is what we're looking for um, on Apple as well um, uh, here. And this will be the same for Tesla, but Tesla is in a different count, but much the same, same. So they'll all pretty much bottom roughly the same within all of this. And then this is the NASDAQ here. So let's just, B waves are like wave four. They can be simple as an A and a B and one, two, three, four, five up here and finish. Be nice and simple or they could get more complex. Um, we'll just need to wait and see. Um, so not interested in going long at the moment, and that's kind of important because coming back to the S&P here for a moment, yesterday we talked about being, you know, now that we're below the level, let's start building in above the 4,000 here. So we're not going to do that now because of the B wave there. So we've just got a little sort of spanner in the works. I'm just going into the 100 ticks. Uh, here and we'll just bring in some data here so yeah yesterday we talked about you know if we're below the level then we'll go back up we'll, we'll um start going long above you know on support of the 4000 i think that we need to wait um until it plays out a little bit further now this this market made a new low here where a lot of the other markets um, haven't made a new low here. So see that B wave here on Apple, for example, um, and the NASDAQ is the same. So we've got the A, the B and the C here. So that's why over here, I've got this as three, four, five down here and going up here for the B wave. But that may not be the case. We may be able to put, you know, the A wave over here on top of that wave four, the B wave over here on that low here and the C wave coming up here is one, two, three, four, five up here. And then get some other little move down here. I'm not quite sure how this will play out just yet, <coughs> but I'm not going to go long um, until we've got Apple and and some of those big tech stocks um, in place um, at this point. I thought that we may be there a little bit earlier, but that's just not going to be the case. So let's just see. We've got a fair bit to go on here at the moment. We're in this little space. So there's lots of news events coming out as well. Um, this month, there's, you know, the Fed's putting up the rates, be it 25 basis points, 50 basis points, whatever that may be and um, uh, employment figures and there's a lot there to uh, to be coming out so a little bit of volatility um, for this month on that so um, that's the S&P um, and the NASDAQ and that's the count that we're looking at so while while this is still coming down here um, we'll see the US dollar push up higher above 105 on the Dixie and we'll see the see Apple and that pull back down into these spaces here. We're not going to buy in this box here as well. Um, what we'll do is I'll just change that back to, to grey um, because what we want to do is we want to confirm things by getting the first impulse wave to the upside. Once we've got the impulse wave to the upside, 
then we can buy the pullback. So if we've got five waves here, then we can buy the pullback and then we can start building in. So we won't buy on the turn on the low because some of the markets are, are weak at, that po at this point in time. So we just need to be uh, a little extra careful. Now, th the other markets that we look at, um, the Russell and the Dow, they... Um, I'm not quite sure how to count these. That's the truth of the matter. And I can see that they can be counted in different ways. I understand um, a lot of the, the, the you know, the, the counts as such, but um, I haven't really sort of put it all together. But I'm thinking that if, if Apple and that need to push up here and then push down, well, most of the other market's going to do the same in its own way. So I'm thinking it'll push up and a push down um, for the Russell and also for... Um, for the DJ as well here. So I'm not sure we'll probably break that low here. I'm not sure the best way to count this at all. Um, this Counting this up here counts really quite nice as five waves here. This, this, um, this is the actual low here when you look at the uh, Dow Jones on the cash market. Um, here it's a bit eeny, meeny, miny, mo, but um, on the cash market, um, and data that I actually pay for um, is telling me that this, you know, managed data, not from a CFD provider, no disrespect to anybody, um, but uh, market makers make their own market. Um, so uh, I haven't checked the futures market, I should do that. Um, but anyway, uh, on the cash market, the physical market, this is clearly the low. So counting this up here counts quite nicely as five waves to the upside. Um, and, you know, this down here, if I look at this in a bearish light as wave one here, that's okay. But this is a wave two. Mm, I don't know. I've, I, I don't think I've seen that before. Not that big, you know. Um, so there's something going on here that I'm not quite familiar with at the moment. Uh, and I've been around a long time. Um, but... Um, we'll see, we'll just see, but just, I'll, I'll just wait for a couple of days, I'll just see if the, we're going to get something, you know, something like this, and then push up from that point, because that's what I'm sort of seeing within the stock market, you know, with the, with the Amazons and the Facebooks and um, so on. So, yeah, I'll just leave it all at that. So that's my, uh, that's my rant uh, for today. And the takeaway is that on the recap of everything is with, um, with Apple and Google and uh, many other stocks, we're just simply looking for uh, still on track. We had wave one up here and it's a nice five wave structure, better than a corrective pattern. And then we're simply trying to figure out the ABC pattern here. It's possible to have, as I mentioned, to have wave two in over here for this, and we could just continue to the upside, but we will look at that. And if we do miss a move to the upside, don't worry about it, because if we do get five waves up here, somewhere up here, somewhere, and we're up here at the moment, and we can't go can't go long here because it's just gonna correct back on us, um, you know, we'll catch it on the, on the flip side over here once we can count five waves up you know and we'll get it back over here at that point and then we'll go so that's where we are at the moment with everything and uh we'll keep tweaking it and see what comes and come what may and we'll just keep adjusting and be flexible and open and um we're looking for the trade because the long trade um like uh i wouldn't go short in the nasdaq unless this number here had been rejected you know not to say that it can't um, so because we're above the closest largest number, um, we'd be looking for long trades first because the long trade setup will come before the short trade setup. So that's why we're on that side. So the whole, you know, we're time traders. We need to be on the right side at the right time and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'll leave it all at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.